Hello YouTube. So today I'll be giving an idea on what a cephalotis cutting will look like after around 8 months. So this is an 8 month update on my cephalotis cutting. Some of them are root cuttings, some of them are leaf cuttings. Um, so we'll start with this guy over here. So this guy is a root cutting that I took in a couple months ago. Um, it look it's looking pretty well. Um, root cuttings sure is faster than leaf cuttings. There's three growth points, and root cuttings tend to get more growth points. There's one right there. Um, none of these has adult pictures yet, but if you have, if you're in the greenhouse, adult pictures might be slightly more like likely, because um, obviously they require high humidity to not very high like around 60 percent to produce adult pictures quite fastly they'll eventually all plants will eventually produce one but just a matter of time um this guy is a root cutting as well this guy is a leaf cutting um i'll give you another example of a leaf cutting um, this guy's actually looking pretty good. I'll give you a 360 look. This is, so, this cutting is around, this one's around, actually, there, these cuttings are different, like, there's different ages. This guy is around 6 months old, this guy's around 8 months. Some plants just grow, um, some, like, different, like, these... Their parents are different, like, they're different genetics. So some plants just grow slower, some plants grow faster. But root cuttings are always vigorous. These two are root cuttings and they're, big, they're the biggest so far. And I'll sort of just give you, a, and these, I'll just give you a quick idea what a cutting will look like after around two months. This is actually taken two months ago. So you can see there's actually a small shoot right here. And there's also a small shoot right here. So that is probably what you'll expect after two months after putting your leaf cutting in, in the soil or um, usually I prefer leaves more than pictures and I can actually do a leaf cutting right now. So you see this little newly choose a newly developed leaf and this is kind of hard to do in camera, but what you do, just tug downwards. Ah, well, you just tug downwards and then plop it in long fiber spiked moss and you give it well light. And then that's basically how you do it. And if, if your conditions are nice, high humidity after around, as I said, two months, this is what you'll probably expect. Or you, this is two and a half months to be exact, and this is just a quick video on my cephal on cephalotis cuttings. About this is just basically an update slash um, guide, and yeah. So we we'll see you on the next video. Like and subscribe.